In this video we're going to explain the new features related to Multilight and in particular the new colour Multilight. This video uses Studio to explain the concepts but the topics covered here can also be applied to any of the Maxwell Render plugins. This scene contains three cylinders to be used as emitters. It also includes a physical sky environment. We're going to create an emitter material for each cylindrical lamp. For the first emitter material, choose a custom setup that allows you to pick a colour using the colour picker and set the light intensity in watts. Use the preview window to render a quick preview of the material you've created. In the preview tab you'll find a couple of preview scenes designed to test emitters. Apply the material to the first lamp by dragging it over the object name in the objects list. Use the Kelvin temperature setup to create the second emitter material, which allows you to set light colour and intensity using the Kelvin scale. This is the most common way to define light source in photography. The Kelvin parameter controls both colour and intensity. As with real light sources, when the light is dimmed, the colour of the light becomes redder, and when the light is brighter, it remains more blue. Choose a temperature near 8000 degrees Kelvin for a pale blue. After applying the material to the second object, create the last emitter material. Choose a light type from the list of presets, which contains a collection of the most common lamp types. Choose a lamp type and power, and Maxwell Render will automatically set the colour and intensity of your material to match the real lamp. Now, in the Render options, select an image file, format and path for the rendered image and for the MXI file. The MXI file is crucial for the rendering process because it stores all the lighting information. You can drag a browser icon over another to automatically copy the same path and file name. Multilight now shows three options. Disabled means multi-light will be disabled, so you would only be able to adjust the camera film, ISO and shutter. Intensity sets a classic multi-light, where each light intensity can be adjusted separately. For the moment we'll choose the intensity mode. Focus the camera using the autofocus option which sets the focus to the object in the centre of the camera crosshair and hit render. When multi-light is enabled, the contribution of each emitter is stored separately, which allows you to control the intensity of each emitter separately. You can adjust the camera film ISO and shutter sliders as usual, but you can also control each independent emitter. In the Multilight Options menu, you'll find tools to load and save the slider configuration in eMixer files, and tools to create keyframes and animate the lights using the timeline. You can also choose to display the sliders horizontally or vertically. You can change the intensity of each emitter using the sliders. The emitters that have been defined in watts show their sliders in a watt scale. Those defined in Kelvin degrees show their sliders in a Kelvin scale.
You can also change the environment intensity separately. If you need to adjust the range of any specific slider, open the Options menu and choose Change Slider Range in the Edit panel to change the maximum intensity value of the slider. The slider will automatically resize to the new range. You can apply the new range to all the sliders, or just the current one. The preview window displays the changes interactively whilst you adjust the sliders. To see the changes in the main window, click on the Refresh button. Use the M button at the base of each slider to mute that emitter, and use the S button to set the emitter to solo mode. Multilight is a revolutionary tool that gives you full control over your image, removing the need to relaunch the render every time you make an adjustment. In addition to this, Multilight allows you to produce an animation by animating the intensity of your lights over time from just one single render. OK, we've had a look at the classic multi-light, now let's explore the new feature. Choose the colour plus intensity mode from the multi-light drop-down. Hit render. The Colour Plus Intensity mode provides all the usual sliders to control the camera film ISO and shutter speed, and the intensity of each emitter in your scene. But the interesting part is that you can now also edit the colour of each emitter using the colour chip at the base of each slider. It's possible to adjust the intensity and colour of each emitter interactively and see the results right away. You can also use the eyedropper to pick a colour from the specific image to match it in your scene. The emitters defined by Kelvin temperature only have intensity sliders, which control both the light intensity and the colour. The colour of these emitters depends on their intensity, and both parameters are controlled together. Emitters with temperatures near 3000 degrees Kelvin will emit a red light, while emitters with temperatures near 9000 degrees Kelvin will emit a blue light. Use the S and the M buttons to isolate or mute a slider. The physical sky colour cannot be adjusted using a colour picker because its colour depends on the set atmospheric conditions and the location and time. The intensity and colour variations are performed maintaining the full colour range and all the spectral information, allowing you to keep the highest quality and accuracy in your illumination. As revolutionary as the classic multi-light, the new colour multi-light gives you even more control over the final look of your image.